Good evening, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining the session. In this session, I want to talk about an special procurement process, and that process is called stock transport order process, and is also commonly called STO. So, stock transport order and STO are used interchangeably. This is a special procurement process which is being used to transfer the material from one plant to another plant using delivery process. So we can do plant to plant transfer using movement type uh, 1301, 305, 303. So we can use those movement type. And this process is being used for transferring the material from one plant to another plant using delivery process. So what is the configuration steps? So there are some configuration steps. Let's talk about those first. In order uh, for a stock transport order to work, these steps should be there. So we go to materials management, we go to purchasing. And uh, after purchasing, we go to purchase order. And uh, in the purchase order, we basically go to set up stock transport order. So this is where all our stock transport order has been defined. Now let's understand this. So what is there first? So first is the shipping data for the plant because one plant is supplying to another plant. So one plant is acting as a supplier, another plant is acting as a receiver. So one plant is technically a customer the plant which is receiving the goods that plant acts as a customer so here we have a plant 1000 hamburg and let's say another plant 1100 berlin so if we go to plant 1000 so in this plant i have a customer number and this is the customer number now this is the customer number which has been created and assigned to this plant in an appropriate sales area. Because when we are creating a delivery document, we need to have a ship to party and a customer. So each plant which is responsible for receiving the material, that plant has to be set up as a customer master. So this is a regular customer, XT01. And then this customer is assigned here in this plant in the sales area. Second, let us say we have another plant, 1100. And in that plant, 1100, we have a, so in this plant, this is a customer number. This is plant number 300215. And uh, where we have a, and that customer has been defined in this sales area. So that basically means each customer is set up as a, each plant has been set up as a customer in the sales area. Okay. So this is the first. So if you look at this, and if you go to customer master, so you can see this customer master being created. So if I look at it, if I define uh, my sales organization, distribution channel, division, and uh, we do not need company code because we're not billing. So here we have a, like any regular plant, we have a plant data, and then this is the sales area data, like we set it up any other customer. So that has been 
defined and assigned here. So similarly, every plant has to be defined. And after it defined the plant, it would be assigned to. So this customer master, this customer master record is representing this plant. After that, the next is basically a checking rule. A checking rule is being used for the purpose of invoicing. So this is where we have a checking rule, which are used for the purpose of invoicing, which we can define. And then we have a defined checking rule. These checking rules are already there. So this is a different type of deliveries, right? So we have a replenishment delivery, and then we assign a delivery checking rule and checking group this is the standard setting usually we do not require any change here then then there is a delivery document type so for the purpose of uh, replenishment we have a you know different document type if we see that this is a purchase document type and uh, and then you can see here various 549 values so if you go back here if you see the document type ub and then you will see some of the interesting thing which is has to be there here so let's select maybe these two plants so we have a purchase document type ub this is a one of the special purchase document type which is used for the stock transport order process this is a, if the supplying plant is this so this is basically the supplying plant of this shipping plant is this and here in a standard sap we have a delivery document type that is called nl so nl is a delivery document type so like for every delivery inbound delivery outbound delivery replenishment delivery there is a delivery document type in case of a stock transport order this is the delivery document type which is there in the sap then we have a something called checking rule so in the checking rule this is the checking rule which we can define as a part of this exercise here so we have defined the checking rule here so this is the standard setting and standard configuration so we look at the configuration we look at the customer master now here we saw that supplying plant 1000 assigned to custom master this receiving plant 1100 assigned to the plant this in the sales area then uh, we have a look at the end-to-end -end process for a stock transport order so before we do that process we check stock so if you go to m and v so let's say i have this material plant 1000 to let us say plant 1100 and uh, if i hit execute so here in plant uh, 1000 i have a material 1965 in the plant in berlin i have a 25 so plant in berlin has less supply so because the total amount of material which is there in the plant one little less so i want to change some material or transfer some material from this plant to this plant so from thousand to 1100 so let's say my supplying plant is 1000 so we verify stock then we create a purchase order transaction code me21n so we create a purchase order it's a regular purchase order so there is nothing different in this purchase order and then here we have a special purchase document type called ub so ub is a special purchase document type which is defined in sap for this purpose so that basically means this purchase document type should be used so now here uh, we can use supplying plant let us say supplying plant is 1000 so we are receiving supplying the material so see that here on the top there is a supplying plant so plant which is uh, material being used is for plant 1000 Similarly, uh, these plant uh, could be whatever. So, 
So let me open another session. So if we go to ME21N and we select UB. We select purchase organization 1000, purchasing group 00 or whatever. Company code 1000, enter. And then supplying plant is 1000. Supplying plant is 1000. So here we go to material. So we select a material. And uh, let's say I'm supplying plant 1000. Uh, so 10 pieces are being supplied. And then here we have a line item. So plant 1100. And a store location, triple zero one. So what we are saying here is that um, this is my supplying plant. So for plant one thousand, we are sending the material to plant eleven hundred. So plant in eleven hundred is our receiving plant. So the plant on the top act as a supplying plant. In the plant in the bottom x is a receiving plant and then there is a plant 1100 which is receiving the product and its location to the zero one so that is what uh, we see here and then we basically can have uh, and then after that one more thing which i want to show here is there is a shipping data in the shipping data, what do we have? So this is shipping data. So we saw the configuration, delivery document type NL. That's what we saw in configuration. Plant which is shipping from 1000 shipping point. And then the customer acting as a 3000215. So that is why the plant which is receiving the material is acting as a Customers. Now let's look at it. So if I go back to uh, in the configuration again, SPRO, and let's check the configuration. So we went there before. So we go back to materials management. We go back to the purchasing. We go back to um, purchase order. We go back to the setup stock transport order. Define shipping data. And then if you look at the plant 1100, and that is what we have here. So plant 1000, so this is 1100, is a receiving plant. And that plant is set up as a customer 300215. So if you see here in the purchase order, so this is the purchase order we created. So this is my supplying plant. This is my receiving plant. And if you scroll down on the bottom, and here we have a, shipping data shipping tab appears and the shipping tab we have a set up as a customer master now this is receiving plant is whatever the customer master we have assigned that comes up here and that plant is assigned in the configuration to the plant 1100 and then we save purchase so we are able to save the purchase order this is a special purchase order i make a note of this purchase order so this is the purchase order. We make a note of the purchase order here. And then we want to create a replenishment delivery. Transaction code for creating replenishment delivery is VL10B. There are other transactions also, but we can use that VL10. So I go back to the stock MNBE. <clears throat> so how much is my stock in the plant 1000 to the plant 1100? If I see here, so here we have a 1165 and here we have a 25. We are transferring 10 pieces. Now I want to create a delivery. Now where is the delivery? So I go to logistic. I go to logistic execution. Outbound process. And then we create. And then we have a collective processing here. And here we can see transaction code VL10B. This is the transaction code to create purchase order. And then we go back. So here we go back. And then uh, this is the delivery. I put shipping point 1000 because my 
delivering plant is 1000 so it is linked to the shipping point 1000 so i'm shipping the product from here and i select some date in the future i hit execute then uh, purchase order document which we created that document appears we select that here and here we have a something called create delivery in background okay we click on that so we got a green light so green light basically means some delivery has been created now we want to see where the delivery is so if i want to go back and i want to check the delivery so this is delivery document if you want to go back here and check uh, document flow you can see document flow also so this was my purchase order created this date created the replenishment delivery and if I go to replenishment delivery, so now this delivery document creation is the primary purpose. So we can use shipping, picking, packing process. So this is my material, this is my plant, and location, quantity 10 pieces, picked quantity 10, and then I can do the goods issue. So we did a goods issue. So we have done the goods issue from receiving plant. Now I want to go back and check the stock. So we had uh, 1165. We had a 25 here. I refresh. So this become 35. This 10 increase. And this become 1155. 10 decrease. So that is end to end stock transport order using a special purchase document type UB. And along with the configuration. Thank you.